federal government suspend Emirates' outboard flights from Nigeria. The federal government has placed a 72-hour suspension on outboard Emirates flights from Nigeria. The suspension was announced in a circular issued on February 4th by the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority. The circular states that the suspension followed a violation of guidelines placed by the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19. According to the circular signed by Musa, NCAA Director General, the airline has been airlifting passengers from Nigeria using rapid antigen tests conducted by laboratories not approved by regulatory authorities. The circular read, based on the foregoing and to enable the Nigerian government to put in place the needed infrastructure and logistics for COVID-19 audit testing for the passing passengers, the PTF has directed that Emirates Airlines should either accept passengers without audit, pending when the infrastructure and logistics are put in place, or suspend its flight to and from Nigeria until such a time when the required infrastructure and logistics are fully established and implemented. Emirates Airline has not been in compliance with the two options given by the PTF as records obtained from Nigeria Airspace Management Agency indicate that Emirates Airlines operated the flight from Muritala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, and Unadi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja. The circular read Emirates should suspend its operations to Nigeria, Lagos, and Abuja, effective 72 hours from midnight on Thursday, February 4th, 2021. During the 72 hours, Emirates Airline is only authorized to bring passengers into Nigeria. Outbound passengers are not authorized. The NCAA said additional sanctions would be imposed on Emirates Airlines for the violations of COVID-19 protocols and the airline will be informed as to when to resume operations. This come days after authorities in Dubai released fresh travel conditions for Nigerian passengers. Dubai airport operators of Dubai International Airport in the United Arab Emirates said in a notice that they now restrict Nigeria passengers from transiting through other airports. It was also stated in the notice that all passengers are required to obtain a negative COVID-19 certificate and PCR was to conduct within 72 hours of the date of departure. The notice was titled Dubai Travel Protocol Update Travel from Nigeria. It read, passengers must travel directly from Nigeria to Dubai. No passenger may enter Dubai from any other country station if they have visited or transited from Nigeria in the last 14 days. All passengers are required to conduct a rapid COVID-19 test and obtain a negative result within four days of their departure time. All passengers are required to obtain negative COVID-19 certificates. The PCR should be conducted within 72 hours of the date of departure. Nigerian government reacts as a man accuses Nigeria Embassy Switzerland officials of incompetence. The federal government of Nigeria has reacted to a viral video footage of a Nigerian man calling out Nigeria Embassy officials in Bern, Switzerland. In the viral video filmed just outside the embassy, the man is heard expressing frustrations at being neglected by the embassy official. He said his calls to the embassy always go unanswered and so do emails. He then decided to drive for more than two hours to the office, only to find that though staffs were in the building, the embassy was closed to visitors due to COVID-19 pandemic. He questioned uh, why they Nigeria should be receiving salary people, when they I do not do the job people. expected of them. He said, Nigerian government, Bikonu, please, I just go and beg you people. It is better we close Nigeria this embassy Nigeria here because this nonsense embassy has no simple feeling about Nigerians in Switzerland. You will book an appointment in embassy, call them, register for the passport, do everything, calling embassy from the one, nobody will pick your call. Write email to embassy, embassy will never reply your mail and there is people and receiving people salary. salary in response to the video the federal ministry what of foreign affairs condemned agba francis chinedu 
The Nigerian man living in Switzerland for filming what is here, described the as a defamatory the video. The statement stop. signed by Fredin and Noye, spokesman for the ministry, said that due to COVID-19 pandemic, there has been heavy levels of lockdown measures implemented by several countries and are our ministries are obligated to respect and comply with the directives of their host countries. Nuye further explained that in compliance with the new development in Switzerland as regarded restrictions and limits on the number of people in place of works, the immigration officers had informed that all cancelled appointments will be rebooked when the lockdown is lifted. The statement continues in line with the mandatory COVID-19 policy measures and um, directives announced by Swiss government on 14th January 2021. The immigration officers of the embassy were obliged to cancel all earlier booked appointments and all applicants were informed accordingly. Nye had that information regarding you discontinuation of consular no, services were sent via public notice to the president of Nigerians in the diaspora organization, Swiss chapter, relevant media in, in Switzerland, and also upload on the official website. He insisted that Chinedu had no period booking with the embassy, and neither did any record shows or proof that he contacted the immigration that officers that the of the embassy. Watch the video this of when she needed calling out the embassy. Uh, Nigeria government, Bikonu, I use God to beg you people. It's better we we'll close this embassy here. Because this nonsense embassy has no even sim simple feeling about Nigeria, Nigeria in Switzerland. You will book an appointment in embassy, call them, call them, register for the passport, pay everything. Calling embassy from day one. Embassy, nobody will pick your call. Write email to embassy. Embassy will never, never reply your email. And there is people receiving salary. What type of rubbish office is this? Are we causing that country as a country? People are here receiving, receiving salary all the time. They can never, never pick call. They can never, never write any message. The Lord in our country, they far. Can you control our own Nigeria? Can you not use less country different can we? A balloon or no? Somebody will drive from Chaffhausen, two hour plus here. No info. When they were listening to the bitch, they were not deceiving them, madam. Eh? Ne, 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 people are in this office, but we'll be calling them. Nobody will pick call. Ne, America never get that. This motor up at the half level. This useless one can up at the half level. Eh? People are here. Get those nonsense country if I if I'm not Nigeria. You will write email. Nobody will. Nobody will reply your email. You call the phone, call, call phone, nobody will pick the nonsense call. Can I not say country and I want to get a different? When you do it, you know, there was ambassador. Others, you know, there are no one. No receive salary, but they will never do something about their citizens. That lockdown, the corona will kill all of you in this, in this, in this, in this office. Kunu have one office, corona, you have to do Alright guys, that will be all for today on Hanging Out with Sayua on Trending News. If you have any stories you want us to cover, do not hesitate to send us a mail. And don't forget to press the subscribe button to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications when we upload new videos. Bye!